I know it is essential to build relationships with others to ensure you have a social life. You cannot succeed alone. And humans are naturally social beings. But there are certain people you should never meet because meeting them will not only set you back from succeeding, it may also keep you stuck for life if you're not careful. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 5 kinds of people you should never meet. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. 1. Those who are going nowhere People who are going nowhere have no plans for their lives. They don't have dreams or goals, and they are not planning to do so anytime soon. Observe people who are going nowhere. They'll leave one day aimlessly at a time. It's not wrong to leave one day at a time. It's terrible if you don't have a plan for your life. I believe the Almighty God gave us brains to think, or it would have been needless for us to have a brain. If you can think and make plans for your life, God has no business to lift you and help you achieve your dreams. It's like a baby who has decided to seek without a single desire or inclination to stand up and walk. Soon, all of his muscles atrophy, and as he grows older, he can hardly move a limb because people are often a product of the environment and the people they relate with. When you spend so much time with people going nowhere, they may afflict you with their type of thinking. It is only normal that you would be influenced by the company you keep. I can tell you if it is the company of people going nowhere, you may end up like them. Avoid those people like the plague. 2. Those who are hoping to get lucky In my country, there are millions of people who desire success. They are aware that they can succeed, and they know all about dreams and goals. In fact, most have dreams and goals, but they often hope to get lucky. Someone wakes up each morning to rush to a job he hates, hoping that someday he would get lucky and start his own business. There is also the group who believe they do not have to put in their best. They only have to do just enough and everything will sort themselves out. When I was in high school, I would read very little and trust that I would get lucky to pass the examination. Once we were writing the final exam and I was reading very little but praying so much, I was so convinced I would pass because somehow I imagined I would be lucky. When the result was out, I had never seen such horrifying results in my life. People who hope to get lucky never seek to prepare for opportunities. No, instead, they hope for the opportunities to come and when it does come, they are not even prepared for it and so they miss it. This kind of person will keep pulling you down if you don't stay clear of them. Surround yourself with dreamers who pursue their dreams if you are aiming to achieve your goals also. 3. Those who are self-deceived Self-deceived people live in denial. If you attempt to tell them what is wrong with them, they will attack you. No matter what you say to them or how you try to correct them, they do not think the problem is with them. They always think the problem is with everyone else but them. A self-deceived person will believe his own ideas and opinions over views and opinions that are working. A self-deceived person absorbs falsehood about himself into his feelings and emotions. Soon, that falsehood becomes a part of him, such that almost nothing else can take it away. Self-deceived people are always ready to pounce on you should you attempt to call them out because they would feel you are not seeing things their way. With a self-deceived person, others are always wrong because they can often tend to see themselves as right and can have a critical spirit. You should stay clear of them because they may affect your dream. 4. Those who see only the negative I once worked with a man who was interesting, hardworking, smart, had integrity, but was so negative. If you brought a fantastic business idea or shared a dream with him, he would show you why the vision or business idea could never work. I appreciate people who criticize constructively, but when you see people who are always negative about everything, telling you why things will never work, run for your life. Because certain habits can be contagious, negative people tend to spread their negativity through their group. In the biblical story of 10 spies, 8 spies returned to share a negative report about what they had seen in the land they had been to spy. With that negative report, they affected the minds of over 6 million Israelites, which led to the people's destruction. I remember a time when I was financially broke because business wasn't working. I used to have a friend who would come around. Every time she came and we talked and she left, I would feel more depressed. Why? She had specialized in talking only about negative things, how things were always tough, how things weren't still working, etc. I had to make up my mind to avoid her because she affected my mind with that negative attitude each time she came. If a negative person is unwilling to change, use the door before they start to pull you down into their mess. 5. Those who complain a lot Watch people who complain a lot. Complainers are naturally full of excuses for not being able to do what they ought to do why their lives are the way it is, why things aren't working in the country, etc. Complainers never see the opportunities in anything. They only see what is working. Although, 
they can tend to prefer solutions to issues, they will never arise to get anything done. A complainer will always live on the low side of life because he sees nothing good about life. He sees no opportunities in his problems. Complainers are not interested in things working. They are only interested in talking about what isn't working. Complainers never see opportunities. They never discuss opportunities. They only discuss what's wrong. And small people consider problems. Great people discuss solutions. When people are fond of complaining, they will pull you down with that pattern of attitude. If you have such people around you, keep them at arm's length, especially if they are unwilling to change. Jim Rohn rightly said, you're the average of your five friends. If you are determined to succeed, what you want around you are people who share the same passion for greatness that you share. Such people inspire you to go after your dreams to achieve it. We often become whom we relate with. You cannot rise above the company you keep. So in your quest to attain greatness, choose your company wisely. Avoid the company of people who are going nowhere, people who are hoping to get lucky, self-deceived people, negative people, and chronic complainers. The right kind of people in your life will make you succeed faster. If this video inspired you, share it with your friends. We love you.